Morning everyone, welcome to Ainsley News, edging ever closer to that Christmas break. I'm sure everyone's looking forward to it. Today we're talking the great rotation into metals. We've mentioned the perverse distortions currently fundamental to the market set up. Such distortions are seeing some financial assets and property at ridiculous highs and all on the back of record debt levels at near zero rates. With interest rates looking set to rise amid said debt, it is prudent to remind ourselves in a few telling charts where we're at and where gold and silver sit amongst it. First, let's look at the sheer scale of margin debt sitting behind all these post all-time high US share markets. As incredible as the dollar amount is, it's the extent and the pace of rise since COVID that's been truly breathtaking. Got some charts here today, so jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au, check on the news, and you can click through and look at these in more detail. But that margin debt, long-term and annotated, is in billions of dollars. So we're looking at trillions of dollars of debt, and that pace that it's increased since COVID has just been out of control. But it has rolled over, and it's aftermath of rollovers that historically flag crashes. In percentage of change terms, there have only been two months in history where it was higher than the recent high and one other that was even close. Each preceded the dot-com and the GFC crashes. A percentage change in margin debt from a year ago. That's looking like it's massive as well. And so it should not come as a massive surprise that while hot margin money has been chasing growth shares, real value, real asset commodities have lagged comparatively. So we've got a chart here showing commodities to equity ratio. That looks like it's bottoming out. So we'll know that this could have already turned or in the process of. So this coincides with the smart commercial traders on COMEX having hugely reduced their short futures contract positions into managed money is potentially hugely telling. You will note that the coincidence of such lows in their positions with lows in the price that this report is only just to last Tuesday and we saw a brief low dip into the US dollar 21s. That's for silver. And yeah, we have noticed that that is looking comparatively low and it could well be a great time to buy silver. The setup for gold isn't quite as insanely bullish, but that again shouldn't be a surprise at a gold-silver ratio of 80. Gold has been range-bound and around 1800 all year, but a takeoff in silver often coincides. A few charts there for gold and the big players are taking silver out of the big ETF SLV in tons at the moment. We can see their transparent silver holdings there and what's going on. Is this that time when we'll look back at commodities versus equities charts and say, wow, that was an obviously clear flag to buy bullion. Nice short sharp news today. And it's also some great insight into what's going on with gold and silver there for holdings and also how much debt we're currently holding in the world as well. And that's it. Jump over to anzibullion.com.au for all things gold and silver. Uh, you can still buy through our website during this holiday season. We might well be dispatching after Christmas though. So just keep in mind, we'll always honor that price that you can secure it through for our website. But because we're taking a little bit of a break ourselves, as soon as we get back, we'll dispatch that out to you. You can also pick it up after our short break as well. Those dates are on our website if you're curious. If you're after any cryptocurrency, same rules. We can always dispatch them out pretty quick because it's not physical, just digital stuff. But ainsleywealth.com.au if you're after some crypto before Christmas and goldsilverstandard.com. Great way to buy gold and silver, but it's actually a cryptocurrency. Stored at Reserve Vault, fully insured and audited. Enjoy your Monday, everyone. If you're winding up at work, enjoy. Everyone remember to be COVID safe. Things are getting pretty crazy out there too, especially in Southeast Queensland. We'll catch you tomorrow for more news.